Hi guys, uh, I'm here today to show you how to get an online business up and running um, within a day. A lot of people th think it's going to take months of work, um, thousands of dollars, have to hire an agency, all these different people to help manage it, um, but you can be extremely efficient um, and get something up in a day's time. Now there's a lot of other things that do go into it, but the core of it can only take up to a day. So I'm gonna be using the Shopify platform. There's links to the um, Shopify uh, website in the, um, in the description below, so please check that on out. They have a few different plans which we'll cover here uh, briefly, but um, I created this site here in about um, probably eight hours total um, on a Sunday. Uh, I wanted to get a, a site up and running. I created uh, the category structures, got the products, the drop shipping, um, all of that set up um, in about an eight hour uh, time frame. So I'm going to show you how you can do the same uh, within your business. So now what we'll do is we'll hop over to Shopify and we will go to their homepage. Um, this is a, what we call a hosted solution. A hosted solution is something that you do not need to secure a separate server to host your website. So for example, I purchased the domain alexisloft.com uh, if I wanted to develop my own website on a different platform that did not have um, a, a, solu a hosted solution, um, I would have to pay a monthly fee to do so. Uh, typically, with an e-commerce site, you're going to want to pay something, you know, forty, fifty, sixty dollars a month just for that server. Um, with Shopify, you get a full, um, really e-commerce marketplace. So now you get your built-in shopping cart, you get your hosting. You get access to a lot of apps, third-party modules, um, a community. So it's real, very powerful. Um, I chose to go with the $30 a month plan here. So you have basic Shopify and advanced Shopify. Um, a lot of this is going to be based on credit card rates, um, how are you taking transactions, um, and then different types of products that you have and, and stuff like that. So um, I don't need anything crazy. I have a dropship model set up so when an order comes in, it goes to a third party to be fulfilled. Now if I'm holding my own inventory in the store or I have a vendor, um, you're going to probably want to look at some of these other ones, maybe this one um, or uh, the Shopify here or the advanced Shopify. But for this de demo, um, we're going to do basic Shopify. So once you go through this, you can sign on up. Um, you can see all the differences here. You know, I don't need gift cards. I don't need reporting at the time. I don't need abandoned card. There's other ways that we can achieve this. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with the light, the light plan. You get a 14-day free trial, which was planned that uh, this could be set up. And all you got to do is just get started today. Enter your email address, uh, your password, and a store name. So I chose Alexis Loft, um, and then instantly I'm given a store. So as you can see, this is my this is my um, online store here that I have set up. Now this is the back end, I should say, through Shopify. Now that I'm up, what do I do from here? You know, from here there's a lot of options here. You know, you can see orders, products, customers, reports, discounts. You got to start to set up your store. First thing I wanted to do is take a look at the front end and figure out what a good look and feel for this was. Um, as you can see here, I chose a theme. It's got some main um, main banners here that scroll through. We got some featured categories, and then we have some featured products as well, mailing list um, and whatnot. Then I took a look at you know how do these templates have set up for um, product listings, and then how does the product detail page look? So I went through a little bit and I want to figure out what fit well for me. Um, I chose this template. If you see here, you can go into Shopify the theme store. They have hundreds of different um, templates that you can choose for. Depending on your product, your brand, um, your customer base, you have several to choose from. You know, one that maybe you don't have a lot of products that's more content heavy that you're showcasing, you know, one or a handful of products. Um, they have those. Or if you're, you know, a, a heavy um, product offering website and you have hundreds or thousands of products, you can see they have ones for those as well. Um, I want to do a free one. I, I want to keep my cost low. I just want to get something up and then from there I can always make tweaks as I see fit. So I went with the free one. Um, I checked these out, went through them all. I, I did a lot of demos, saw which one would fit uh, well for me and then I, I landed on on this one. It's clean, it's sophisticated, um, it's got some great product pages, there's documentation, there's support, everything is here, it's pre-built for you. Um, you click install theme and 
you're set up. That can all be done through here, through your online store portal here. Um, you got themes here, you can see this is the one I currently have. If you want to swap these out, easy to do. Choose another one and it's going to instantly update it. No coding, nothing crazy, it's, it's all going to be there. Um, you can customize it, all that kind of stuff, but now that I got my theme selected, um, you can now go in and start adding products. So I went in, I found a, a third party, they had a connector. Um, you can see that there's apps, there's a huge app store, so these are the ones I have installed. Um, I'm using a third party connector, I contacted them, I got the needed files, and then I, 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 um, I create a, a synchronization between that third party using an app. Nothing I had to do, plug and play. But if you have your own products, um, you'll just come into Shopify here, and you can import your products on in. Um, if you want to see how the product is um, how the product is laid out, you can do a CSV file, Excel sheet. Um, but we'll just show you a quick here example of what that product export looks like. And this is a very standard product import file. So really any platform that you use, uh, Shopify, BigCommerce, Magento, um, any of those uh, platforms are going to have a very similar one. It's just really data mapping here. So as you can see here, this is all of my product data. You got the HTML, title, type, all this kind of stuff. So you would want to organize this file with all of your product data. So you're really just mapping your data. So hopefully you have your database built on out. If not, that's usually one of the bigger parts. Content and product data is always or are always the two um, big items when building any website. You don't have that, it's going to delay you a bit. But if you can have this file, you can start importing your products in right away. Um, so once you get your products on, on in there, um, you can see them on the front end. You can see the product data listing out. It, it maps to your theme automatically and you're good to go. Um, I did also want to tie into some third-party modules here. So you can see I set up some social, um, a coupon here, uh, customer reviews. A lot of these are by default within the Shopify platform, but um, being in the industry, I just know of a lot of plugins that are very powerful um, that can be used as well. Um, so if you look into the back end here of um, the App Store, uh, you can see I set up... a uh, product reviews, um, ad shoppers, um, and then also like a free shipping bar, and then a Facebook chat. All of these are, are free modules that can just enhance your website. So take advantage of it. It's literally a plug and play. Uh, let's say you want to have a um, you know, newsletter sign up. Let's see what they have for that. Pop-up window. So here you go, this one is a price, you gotta pay for it monthly. But all you gotta do is click uh, get. What that will do is we'll, it'll install it instantly into your Shopify platform and you're set up. Um, you might need to create a, a, um, an account with them, but it's plug and play. Then you start to create how you want that newsletter, that pop-up to look, what kind of content do you wanna have around it. Um, it's very, very straightforward. All kinds of apps that you can have. I have user tracking here. Um, I have a stock synchronization, but all there, um, available for you. So let's just take a look at you know, the product reviews here. Once you come in here, there's going to be additional things that you can do to manage it. Um, the, the look and feel usually comes with that with those files. Um, but I don't have any reviews here. This is where you would be able to manage them. Uh, let's see, Ad Shoppers. They have a lot of different options that you have. So they actually have, um, Ad Shoppers has several add-ons that you can use. I'm only using a couple. They have some paid ones and some free ones, so it all depends on what you're really looking to do. So this takes you to the um, to the shop or to the uh, ad shoppers um, interface where you manage you know everything from there. So now we'll go back to um, we'll go back to there. So once you get your once you finally get your theme up and running, uh, you get your products entered. Now you can start working on some content. Now the content is your banners, your imagery, um, all of your stuff that is non-product related. So this imagery would be related to your to your products, but we want to talk through banners, where these link to, where do we create these categories, um, 
and that kind of stuff. So what we'll do there, um, you can come in here, take a look at your online store. You can edit your navigation. So you can see here's a navigation, what's in the footer, what's in your main menu. You can edit this to have whatever you want. You can change it, you can tell it where to link. Super easy. Then we will go to pages. These are all of your non-category pages. So your static pages, home page, contact page, privacy policy, returns and exchanges. So we'll go to the home page here. Um, you can see that this theme, this is how it looks for when someone Googles Alexa's Loft. This is how it will come up in, um, in Google. And then if we want to take a look at these other pages, you can create as many as you want to, link them around the site edit it, save it, and it's instant, It's instantly published um, you know, to the website. Uh, meta, meta and t uh, sorry, title and meta description, you can edit here. Google Analytics, you can attach here. Um, if you have a Facebook pixel, you want to protect your storefront um, before you go live with it, all done through there. Um, so there's just a ton of, you know, a ton of stuff that you have access to. So here you can see I've, I've placed a, um, an email abandoned cart you can have those features set up there as well now let's go so once you get your content set up you have all your pages built out your images in there now you can really get to you know finalizing that website how are you gonna handle shipping payments checkout taxes all those good things super easy to do um, so you get your, all your store information in here you'll typically handle this when you set up your your store um, if you want to have certain formatting for your orders um, you know, you can have a prefix, suffix, all that good stuff. Um, payments. They recommend a lot of just out of the box um, uh, solutions here. So PayPal. If you have an account already, you select it, enter your details, you're off and running. You can sign up with Shopify, uh, which is the route that we went. Um, we just create an account with them less than you know 10 minutes and we're signed up. They just need some bank information and that and um, those kind of things but you're off and running pretty quick you can have Amazon payments there's also a lot of other ones you can use Bitcoin if you want um, there's a few other ones if you want to add a custom one bank deposit check our uh, cash on delivery you can have there and then keep in mind there are a lot of third-party um, integrations that you can use Braintree there's authorized.net um, Chase Payment Tech. So there's a lot of options out there. They're just not as plug and play and they're not out of the box like this. You might have to find an app for it. Um, once you get that done, you can start customizing your checkout. Um, do you want to force them to create an account? What kind of forms are, are form fields are in there? How are orders processed? Um, shipping. How are rates going to be, or how are you shipping these out? Um, so you can see here I have a shipping address. Uh, I have my shipping rates here, so I do have one international rate. If I'm shipping internationally, it's twenty dollars. The rest I have standard, heavy, um, and free shipping that you can see here. That takes you know probably a good 10-15 minutes to set on up and test on out. Um, taxes, there's a built-in thing here. Um, if taxes are included in your price, you can select this. Um, otherwise, charge taxes based on where that is. So um, this is pulling the 62 states. You plug in your rates, and you're off and running. Notifications, pretty straightforward. You have all your email templates set up here. These are just miscellaneous ones that you don't really use. Um, I do have it. I do have uh, accounts in Facebook um, and some other social media ones, but that's the core of it. So now we've talked about setting up a, a store with Shopify, selecting a theme, installing that theme, adding products adding content, configuring your checkout, payments, shipping, taxes, and now you have a fully functional e-commerce website. Now, I know you're not going to stop there, but now you're, you're actually live. I actually had to go through and you know add some imagery in. I had to add in um, some banners and, and figure out what the feature collection, collections are and add those to it. But I would say in probably an hour and a half to two hours time, you're going to be, you're going to have a, a skeleton of a brand new e-commerce site. So those of you that are looking for um, an updated ver an updated website, um, or maybe you're on Shopify and you just want to find a better looking um, theme, it's all there for you. Um, or if you're just starting, you want to get something up quick, 
here you go. This is a perfect solution for you. Um, I've since, you know, I've, I've created social media accounts. Um, I have online stores for that. Um, I've also connected to, you know, to Pinterest and all those kind of things. But in a matter of hours, I was able to successfully build out an online um, e-commerce store through the Shopify platform. Um, super easy to use, very intuitive, um, and now it's very easy to manage. An order comes in, uh, it just goes straight to Dropshipper, fulfilled, um, and sent to that user. Everything's captured through a third-party um, payment gateway. My management time in this is to make sure that orders are getting filled properly. So I just check as every time an order comes in, just make sure that it went out okay. Um, and then any customer customer service. So it's very easy to maintain. There's not a lot of upkeep and stuff like that. And now my time can focus on some more of the marketing aspect of that, of you know getting a social footprint, um, getting traffic to the website, and more marketing initiatives. So there's a ton of other things that we can do, but this video is just really around how to get a website up and running in less than a day. Um, and here's that perfect solution. So I'll have some other videos to showcase a different platform called Big Commerce. Very similar setup, um, intuitive to use, uh, has the same kind of app functionality. But this is a, a probably the quickest, easiest, out of the box solution to get up and running um, in less than a day. Uh, if you have unique third-party integrations like a warehouse. Um, you use a different uh, email um, newsletter manager like a MailChimp or a Bronto or you know whatever that looks like. Um, you know, let me know. I can answer any questions that you guys might have. Um, there's plugins for a lot of that. Uh, if it is a customization, we have access to a full set of developers, um, a marketing team, whatever you need, and those are usually very easy to integrate in. Now, if you have a, a very difficult or uh, a huge um, integration that is a little bit more custom. It's going to be a little bit more work. But if you have a very, you know, a more of a generic or um, a common uh, third party that you're using, there's likely already something built out because the Shopify platform, um, you know, is used by quite a few businesses on out there. So um, that's it. If you're looking to do this, I recommend you know making a change. Spend a spend a Sunday, get this up and running. Um, if you need support, let me know. I'm more than happy to to help do this. I love doing this kind of stuff. It was very easy to um, get up and running. Uh, if you have questions on if something will or will not work, you want a quick audit of your website to see if this is the right platform, um, let me know as that as well. My contact information is below. Visit our website, see what um, kind of services that we offer. I'm more than happy to help out. Um, I want to help grow your business. That is what we are here to do. Um, there's many ways to do that. This is just one of those. Getting to be very efficient from an operational standpoint, getting a better looking website to allow your users to shop, and then putting your efforts into now growing that through your different channels. Um, so thanks for watching. Again, let me know if you have any questions, and uh, stay tuned for my next videos.